hole in the mesh. All right, um, this is how I would do it, I guess. Uh, I'll just copy this one to another layer. And then I would take these points and I would flatten them in the Y. Different ways to go about that, by the way, but uh, that's one way. Uh, and then I would just expand this. I think I would expand like that, maybe. Uh, of course, you got to think about what kind of geometry, really, that you have here. This is this might be a you know a bit many points for a tube or pipe, but anyway. I go back here. Why did I lose that selection? Anyway. Okay, shift Z and uh, create some junk points here. So we're just gonna get rid of those. Um, now you used that one before, tangle, untangle, and if necessary, rotate it. But uh, I think in this case it's actually quite good. And uh, I'm just gonna move this one slightly over here. Okay. Um, now hit E and scale it. Action center selection, as always. And go like that. Now I can delete this one. And, uh, you know, I'm actually kind of, I'm almost done now, actually. I can just take these guys and I can rest that by smoothing. Um, yeah, so. That looks pretty good to me. I'm just going to copy this part here. Take that one, put that in the background. I'm actually going to move this one up, and then use heat shrink and move that one down. Okay, and uh, that's pretty much it. And then you paste in that geometry and uh, you merge. Um, okay, you might have to use fixed actually merge because there's going to be a small offset on this line here and on the other side but uh, that's how I would do it I think of course you can tweak the position of these guys later on um, but uh, yeah that's pretty much it